This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. We've got a great question here uh, about an old school legend, especially in these parts of the woods. Brent wants to know, can you talk a little bit about bullet Bob Armstrong? I think people outside of the Southeast don't realize just how big of a star this guy was. He beat Hogan flair and car- carried the Southeast for a long time. And how big could he have been? Had he chosen to leave Pensacola for a major market? Well, I think Bob Armstrong could have done anything he wanted. To. Um, he was huge in like the Georgia territory and the Pensacola territory and the Florida territory. I don't know how much he went in and out of Memphis, but he was, he was good enough. And Bob Armstrong is a, is a fine human being. I owe him a lot. He gave me my first break. I'll never forget it. Um, but he was a very safe performer. He was always in that weight room. He was fit. He looked good, and he did promos that you would believed 100%. One of the, you know, it was one of the things that struck me early on. You know, I didn't want to copy Bob, but I wanted when the thing was done, the promo was done. I want to believe what that guy said, and boy, did I! And and when I started to you know, figure out my own promo style. What are you going to say or how are you going to say it? It's going to make people believe at least that you believe what you're saying. And uh, I think he chose because he, like everybody does, went to Pensacola and he bought in down there and got like 10% of the company with the Fullers and Jimmy Golden. And it's paradise. Conrad, you know, you go down there to Destin all the time. Yeah. To live there. Every every wrestler in the country wanted to go to Pensacola, even if it was between the bigger territories where they were working every single day and traveling themselves to death. They wanted to go there for six, eight months, maybe a year, just to re-energize because it was paradise. And it is to this day. Matter of fact, I was just down there. Most beautiful beach in the world. Best kept secret in the world uh, from Pensacola all the way to Panama City. It's just beautiful. Uh, but I think he chose to stay there because it was such an easy place to work. And, and he was there for probably what, 10 years. Yeah, probably more. Mm-hmm. I mean, but to your point, well, the, the quality of life is huge because he's, he's making great money. And to your point, yes, maybe he could have made more money somewhere else, but to be home in your bed every night and get to hang out on the beach every day, man, that does not suck. That's a great no. quality of life. No, it does not suck. And, uh, I wish it was available for guys today. I wish there were still some territories to go to, uh, because that was ideal and fantastic. He made that choice, I think, but he could have been successful anywhere he went. I know Tom Danucci wants to know what are Arn's memories of using a tire iron as a weapon? And does he wish he used one more often? I remember thinking what a badass equalizer and the nickname tire iron Anderson was pretty sick too. It's kind of a fun idea. You know, I mean, that could have been a gimmick, I guess, somewhere along the way, a tire iron. Sure. Of course. Well, you know, it was small enough that I could hide it in the back of my pants, pull a little vest or sweatshirt over it. You didn't even know it was there. It was pretty functional because it is solid steel. Easy to swing, uh, easy to get to, easy to operate. Uh, And uh, there's been some very, very real occasions, I imagine, out in the real world where a a guy got his ass kicked, went and opened his trunk, pulled out a tire iron, and got himself back even. So it has a real-life flavor to it. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.